This is a piece of a branch that I trimmed off of a maple tree in my backyard. I'm not a woodworker, really more of a metal worker, but I do have a chisel and a hammer and a knife and some sandpaper, so I wanted to do something creative today and the other day my wife broke her favorite little wooden spatula and so I'm gonna make her a new one. I could just buy one from a store, right? Or I could go on Amazon and order a wood spatula. Amazon Prime, baby, free shipping. <laughs> show up, <laughs> show up in, you know, nine hours. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at the shape here and I think I want to cut it like that. I think I want that to be the business end. And we're gonna taper into some kind of handle. Or I guess I could trim a branch in my backyard and then spend four hours carving it into a spatula. If you value your time at all, you know, well, you know what, what, your time's worth $100 an hour? It's gonna take you, what, 10 minutes to order the spatula off Amazon? Probably less than that, five minutes. So five minutes of your time is $8.33. Versus if I carve this thing myself, it takes me maybe 30 minutes to trim the branch and clean all that crap up and then four more hours to carve it, all of a sudden this spatula is worth $450. And that places the value of the material, the maple, at zero because we didn't pay any money for it. But the maple has quality, doesn't it? And a handmade item has something that the Amazon spatula doesn't have. So what are you saying? Everybody's supposed to go out and buy a $450 handmade spatula now? No. No, don't go out and spend $450 on a spatula. If you want a handmade spatula that you'll look at <laughs> every time you use and it'll just have, you'll have a twinkle in your eye, I'm telling you. You'll look at your little handmade spatula that you made with just some chisel and a knife that you already have and you'll like it way more. I promise, you'll like it way more. It's not hard to do. You should totally make your own spatula. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting ahead of myself. And that's the kind of value that money can't seem to show you. Handmade items of quality, I mean, yeah, they fetch a higher price in the right market. So is that it? Value comes from the amount of time that some person puts into it? Well, I think we all know it's not that simple. Probably I'll Probably round that. You clicked on the thumbnail thinking, how could a spatula be worth $450? So in this case, I guess I put four hours into this and didn't get paid my $100 an hour, did I? In fact, I didn't get paid anything. I got, I got nothing. I'm out four, I'm out four hours. I got no money. Well. I have this handmade spatula. <laughs> Do you have a handmade spatula? Okay, it's really, it's not about the spatula. It seems like in our world, everything is a commodity. Everything is for sale. You can buy anything. What about concert tickets? How can you put a dollar value on a concert ticket. I mean, sure, there's like the utility of it all. Like there's gotta be a venue and there's only so many seats in the venue. And I guess that's where the price comes from. But what you're, but what you're buying, you're, like you're not really trying to buy the seat. You're trying to buy an experience with the artist on the stage. But somehow that's not what we're buying. Like you buy the ticket, but you can't buy the actual art. It's an experience.
I get into these times where I just feel like the pocket knife is the better tool. Maybe for here it is. But then I end up returning to the chisel, and as soon as I pick up the chisel, I'm like, oh, the chisel's the tool. It is nice for curves, but then, you know, is it? Like, look at this. Well, this is still way too thick, actually. I want to thin this out quite a bit. So if you're someone who's bought a concert ticket, consider making your own spatula. <laughs> See, this is all kind of ridiculous because I'm, I'm selling you on something that can't be sold. Uh, I'm just trying to convince you to do something that I can't sell you. You should try making your own spatula. You should try making your own stuff. Just have fun and make stuff. Do stuff with your hands, you know? Take the time to do that. It's worth it. But I'm not like you. I'm not good at that. Good at what? Using a chisel? Using a chisel to carve a piece of wood? I'm not good at that either. I've never done that. I mean, I used to whittle when I was a little kid. I remember I cut my finger real bad one time. Pocket knife my grandpa gave me. I'm sure that was approved. It was the 90s. It was totally approved. But if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm really more of a, a metal worker. I do welding and machining and stuff, so... Uh, this is totally, this is new to me, and it's new to you, uh, I say pick up a chisel. Give it a shot. <laughs> Why not? If you have a bench vice and a chisel. Oh, man, you're so close. You're so close. Maybe a tree branch. You got a tree branch that fell sometime this year. It's just been laying in your yard. Just cut a hunk off, man. Carve yourself a spatula. <laughs> I guess what I'm getting at is we use money and the price of things to determine their value a little too much, in my opinion. Or, or maybe money just falls short. Money can't describe the value that I see in this spatula. And I think that's awesome, actually, because, first of all, you don't have to have money to make your own spatula. If you have a pocket knife, you don't even need a chisel. You could do this all with a pocket knife. It would take longer. But everybody can find a pocket knife. And you could have a spatula that's worth $450. Maybe nobody would pay $450 for it, but to you, it'll be worth $450 worth of something that's hard to define with money. It has value beyond what money can describe. And you'll have a, a really special little item. And you don't have to stop at making spatulas. In fact, please don't stop at making spatulas. Uh, don't even stop at making things of utility. Make stuff that doesn't have utility. Make art. I know I've been telling you what to do this whole time, but actually that's kind of the final boss for me right there. Make art. Uh, I feel like I've got an artist and an engineer fighting each other in the same brain, and the engineer wins most of the time, but I have got to figure out how to let the artist win more. <laughs> Lately, I guess I feel like I've been stuck on making things of utility, so maybe this whole rant is just for me. I'm trying to convince myself to make art. And uh, when I think about that, I think, well, what am I going to make? And that's the problem. It's like I need to have an idea first. But the reality is, I just need to start. 